Welcome to your practice. My name is Sophie and today I'll be guiding you through a 30 minute intermediate level flow for flexibility and strength. It's a full body flow and for today's practice if you happen to have two blocks put them towards the front of your mat and if you don't have them that's okay I'm going to show you everything without the blocks. So we'll get started in a seated position. You can have your knees tucked under you like like I'm doing right now, or you can sit cross-legged if that's more comfortable. We'll just be here for a few moments. So let your hands rest down on your lap. Close your eyes, lengthen your spine, relax the tips of the shoulders. Begin to slow down the breath. And every time you exhale, have a sense of letting go. There's a good chance that for you, there's something in your life right now that you could let go of just a little bit or just for a few moments at least. For the next 30 minutes, can you consciously choose to not hold on so tight? Yoga is the practice of letting go. Begin to blink your eyes open and reach your arms up. Bring your fingertips behind your head. Start to take a side bend to the right. Bring your right hand down to the ground, but keep your left hand behind your head. So you're opening up through the left side body. And bring your hand behind your head again, come back to center, stay here. Start to side bend to the left. And bring your left fingertips down, continue to bend. Be aware that this is the, our first movement of the practice, so you don't have to go super deep. Bring your hand behind your head, come back up to center. Reach your arms up. Then cactus your arms. Twist to your right. Two breaths. Come back to center. Twist to your left. Come back to center, reach the arms up and release your hands down. Come into table and extend your right leg back with the toes tucked, press back through your heel, which should feel pretty good to extend that leg and stretch through the calf after having the knees underneath of us. Set your knee back down, extend your left leg straight back, keep the toes down, press back into the heel. Bring your knees back down. Walk your hands forward for puppy pose. On, stay on your fingertips and put your forehead on the earth. Crawl your fingertips as far forward as you can. So we get a lot of length through the sides of the rib cage, right and left side. Draw your belly button in just a little. Breathe deeply and let go. Make your way back up into table. Round your spine for cat. Take a couple breaths in cat. Dr bring the chin towards the chest. And drop your belly and lift your chest for cow. Keep cow as you lower down knees, chest, chin. Hug your elbows in. Four points are touching your knees, chest, chin, and your toes. And then lower all the way down to the ground. And lift your chest up off of the ground for cobra. Lower back down. Take your arms straight back behind you. Keep your feet down and your chest lifted. Anchor your tailbone towards your heels. Reach your arms straight forward. Bring your arms into cactus again. 
place your hands under your shoulders. Slide them back actually under your elbows. Tuck your toes. Engage your thighs. And can you press yourself all the way up to plank? You're always welcome to go to table instead. And then downward facing dog. Once you get to down dog, pedal it out. Maybe you take your feet wide for this first one. Shake out your head. Find some fluid movement. And bring your feet back to hip distance. Bend your knees so they're almost touching the ground and re-straighten the legs. Again, bend the knees, straighten it back out. One more time, bend and straighten. Make your way to the front of the mat. Take little steps for this first one, little steps. Once you get there, ragdoll and grab onto your elbows or you can let your arms hang down. Slight bend of the knees. Nice rock side to side. And bring the other arm in front. So just switch the way that you're holding your elbows. And release your hands down to the ground. Pedal out your knees, just like bend one knee at a time. Spread your toes, lift through the inner arches of the feet. And then keep your left fingertip, put your left fingertips right in the center of the front of the mat. Bend your left knee and reach your right arm up, twist. With that right arm, we'll take three big circles, starting by going back behind you. So face your hands facing the back of the mat. Now your hand faces down and bring it all the way around and up. Do that two more times. Don't rush it. Notice what you feel in your shoulder, which is a ball and socket joint. The humerus is moving around. Reach the arm all the way up and bring your right hand back down. Bend your right knee and reach your left arm up. Same thing, take three big circles. Feel how the joint moves. Connect your breath to movement. And the next time the arm is up, keep it there. And bring your hand down to the ground and straighten both legs as you lengthen. Shift your weight into your toes. So you're in a half lift with your weight a little bit forward and fold all the way down and forward. Inhale, stand up and reach your arms all the way up. Bring your hands to your heart and arms down by your sides. Reach the arms back up. Take your right arm back behind you, twist right. Reach your arms forward and up, inhale. Take your left arm back behind you, twist left. Take your arms forward and up, inhale. Cactus your arms, back bend, slight bend to the knees as you back bend. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, engage the upper back. Inhale, reach the arms up, come upright. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back to plank. Lower down for chaturanga, and I want you to press right back up to plank. Right back up. Downward facing dog. Now set your knees down on the ground. Drop your belly, lift your chest for cow. Round your spine for cat. Make your way into child's pose, but keep your knees where they are. It's a brief child's pose. You, need, you can even keep your toes tucked. Roll back up into cat. Drop your belly, lift your chest for cow. Lower down knees, chest, chin. Slide all the way down to the ground. Lift up for cobra. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Take your arms straight back behind you. Now reach your arms forward. Chest is lifted, head is lifted. Take your arms into cactus. And place your hands right underneath your elbows. Tuck your toes, lift your thighs, and press all the way up to plank. Downward facing dog. Breath in. Breath out. 
look forward, step or hop to the front of the mat. Lift up halfway, fold forward. Stand, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Arms down by your sides. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, right arm goes back, twist. Inhale, arms up and forward. Exhale, left arm goes back, twist. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus, back bend, slight bend to the knees. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands and step or hop back to plank. Lower down halfway for chaturanga. Come back up to plank. Downward facing dog. Set your knees down on the ground. Drop your belly, lift your chest for cow. So we're repeating, round your spine for cat. Child's pose, briefly bring it back. Roll back up into cat. Drop the belly, lift the chest for cow. Lower down knees, chest, chin. Come all the way to the ground, lift up for cobra. Lower back down. Take your arms straight back behind you. Bring your arms straight forward. Arms now into cactus. Place the hands underneath your elbows. Tuck your toes. Lift your thighs. Press up to plank. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Breath in. Breath out. Bring your feet together and sweep, slowly sweep your right leg up to the sky. Bend your knee, open your hip, and circle your right ankle three times in each direction. Make sure the weight is even in both hands. Straighten the right leg back out. Step your foot outside of your right hand. Warrior lunge. Slide your left foot to the left side of the mat and put the heel down on the ground like you're in warrior one legs. Walk your hands to the front left corner of the mat and really extend your arms like you're in down dog, but you're on your fingertips. Your head drops between your upper arms. Anchor your right hip towards the back of the mat. Wiggle your toes. Take two more breaths. Every exhale, you're letting go. Place your hands under your shoulders, lift your back knee. Set your back knee down on the ground. Untuck your toes. Push down to the top of the left foot, of the back foot. And bring your right hand, fingertips behind your head as you open to the right, kind of like we did the very beginning when we had our fingertips behind our head. Now take your right arm straight back behind you. Bring it back to the back of the head and bring your right elbow to left wrist to close. Inhale, open back up. Exhale, right arm goes straight back. Right hand to the back of the head. Close it off. Open it back up. So this is really great for the mobility of the spine. Reach your right arm back. Hand to back of the head. Close. And open. Stay here or reach your arm up or bend your knee and grab onto your foot. A little tip. If you have been doing this for a long time and you need more of a stretch, here you just flex your foot. And you should feel a deeper sensation into your left quadricep muscles. But if you're just working to grab the foot, don't worry about that. Make sure you're not sinking into your left shoulder as you roll open the right shoulder to the sky for three, two, one. Release your hands back down to the ground. Come up onto your fingertips and straighten out your right leg. Finally, ah. let's go back and forth a few times dynamically. Bend your knee back into lizard. Can you open your heart? Exhale, straighten the right leg. One more time. Inhale, bend. Exhale, bring it back. Stay here with your legs straight. Perhaps you crawl your fingertips forward a little bit more. But even within this fold, you're finding a back bend, a lift of the back of the heart, and your pelvis is tilting forwards. So it's like you're trying to stick your tailbone back behind you. Keep your right foot flexed, the right pinky toe drawing back.
One more breath. Come back into lizard. Lift your back knee up off of the ground and step your right leg all the way back to three-legged dog. Inhale, three-legged plank on your exhale. You might have to slide your hands forward a little bit. Stay here in three-legged plank and bring your right knee to your right upper arm. Extend it straight back and bring right knee to left upper arm. Extend it straight back. Put your right toes on top of your left heel. And maybe you lower down for chaturanga again. And come right back up to plank. Uncross the feet. Downward facing dog. Breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Bring your feet together. Lift your left leg up. Bend your knee, open up your hip. Circle the left ankle three times slowly in each direction. It's not a rushed circling of the ankle. Today we're slowing down and we're letting go. Straighten the left leg back out. Inhale, square your hips even more. Exhale, step your foot outside of your left hand. Warrior lunge, slide the right foot to the right. Put the heel down on the ground. Walk your hands to the front right corner of the mat. You're on your fingertips. Your left hip draws back. Your right thigh is engaged. One more full breath. Put your hands inside of your left foot and lift your back heel. Good. Put your back knee down, untuck your toes. Put your left fingertips behind you ha your head as you open to the left. Take your left arm straight back behind you. Left hand behind the head, inhale. Exhale, elbow to wrist, close. Open, left arm straight back, hand behind the head, close, open, again, arm straight back, hand behind the head, close it off, and open it up, and reach the left arm up, if you want, bend the knee, grab onto the foot, or you can just keep your hand behind your head, if you're not going for the quad stretch at the moment. Trace the breath with your mind. Find that pattern of the breath. Stay focused on it. Release your foot down if you have it. Bring your hands down. Lift your back knee. Three-legged dog, left leg goes all the way up and back. Then shift into three-legged plank. Inhale. Exhale, left knee to left upper arm. Inhale, take it straight back. You're still in three-legged plank. Knee to right upper arm. Take it straight back. Set your left foot on top of your right foot. Chaturanga hold. Rise back up. Uncross your legs. And downward facing dog. Set your knees down. Take your knees wide, feet together for child's pose. Hips go back, forehead to the earth. Soften here. Find the softness. Letting go. Rise back up into table. Tuck your toes. Lift your knees and hips for down dog. Walk your hands to the back of the mat. And gorilla pose. Step onto your feet. Bring your feet all the way to the wrists. Maybe your elbows bend and open wide as your shoulder blades um, spread apart from each other. And you bend more at the waist. Let the head relax. And then release your hands. 
Walk all the way back out to plank. Lift your right leg up, bend your right knee, and roll over the left side body for a wild thing as you reach your right arm up. Bring your right hand back down, three-legged dog. Right leg goes up, inhale. Step your foot between your hands for low lunge. Set your back knee down, untuck your toes, and reach your arms up. Option to lift your back knee up off of the ground. I know that's kind of tough with the toes untucked. Hold here for three, two, one. Set the knee down, bring your hands to your heart, and twist to your right. Tuck your left toes, lift your back knee. Maybe you have another variation you like to go into from here. I'll just be here for a couple more breaths. We'll set the knee back down, back to center. Bring the hands down. Now lift your back knee again. Walk your hands out in front of you and come into supported warrior three. So have your fingertips on the ground and Anchor your right hip towards the back of the mat so you lengthen on the right of the right side waist lengthens from the hip to the rib cage. There's more space there. Maybe your hands go to your heart. Maybe your arms go straight out in front of you. Then bring your hands back down. Step back to low lunge. Straighten your right leg and lift the bottom of the foot up off of the ground so it's just your heel. Bend your right knee into low lunge. Step back to plank. Lower all the way down to the ground. Take your arms out in front of you and lift your legs so it's like Superman. Option two, take your arms behind you, bend your knees, and grab onto your feet. Kick up. For three, two, one. Extend your arms and legs back out. Plant your hands underneath your elbows or shoulders. Put your feet down and lift up for cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog. Shift into plank. Lift your left leg up, bend your knee, roll over the right side body for a wild thing. Left arm lifts up, chest lifts to the sky. Bring it back around to three-legged dog, left leg goes up and back, inhale. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Put your back knee down, untuck your toes, and reach your arms up. Either stay here, squeeze your hips towards each other, or lift your back knee for three, two, one. Set the knee down, bring the hands down, tuck your toes. Sorry, bring your hands to your heart. We're twisting here. So twist to the left. Hook your right elbow over your left knee. Now you can tuck your toes and lift your back knee up off of the ground, press the hands together, firm your back thigh, and let's start to bring the right knee back down, come back to center. Now we bring our hands down, we lift the back knee, and walk the hands forward to come into supported warrior three fingertips on the ground, left hip anchors back to create space on the left side waist. Lift the belly button towards the spine just a little bit. If you want to bring your hands to your heart, you can, or you can extend your arms forward. Then bring your hands down, step back gently to low lunge, straighten your left leg, lift the bottom of the foot. Breathe. Deep belly breaths.
Bend your left knee back to low lunge. Plant your hands. Step back to plank. Again, lower all the way down to the ground. Take your arms out in front of you. Lift everything up for Superman. Get that spinal extension. You can stay here or you can take your arms back behind you. Bend your knees. Grab onto your feet. Lift everything up. And if you're in bow pose, release to take your arms straight out in front of you. So we're back into Superman. Everybody's here. And then lower your head down to your hands. And relax your hips. Feel a sweet connection to the ground. And being held by the earth. Shake your hips a little side to side. And simply roll over onto your back. If you'd like to have your head at the other side of the mat, you're more than welcome to, to do that. But you shouldn't really need to look at me too much from here. We'll take the feet as wide as the mat and windshield wiper the legs side to side. Maybe you take your arms overhead. And bring your knees back to center and hug them into your chest. Give yourself a little rock side to side. Grab onto the outer edges of your feet for happy baby. Maybe you want to straighten your legs out. You can grab onto your big toes and straighten the legs out to a V shape. Or you can stay in happy baby. And then bend your knees. Bring your knees back into your chest. And extend your legs long for Shavasana. Let your whole body relax. Maybe you slide your shoulder blades towards each other a little bit to get them out of the way. Take a full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Allow yourself to rest here for just a few moments. And remember to let go. Remember that we don't have to hold on so tight. Letting go brings us freedom.
begin to bring movement back into your body. When you're ready, bend one knee at a time so both feet are flat. Roll over to one side. And make your way up to a seat. Thank you so much for practicing with me. And I hope you can thank yourself for showing up and making the yoga practice a part of your day. Let's bring our palms together at our heart. And let's bow in gratitude for this practice. Thank you.